Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the measurement tools available in the program. We're going to start with the cluster of atoms from the spinel structure that we built in an earlier tutorial. I'm going to switch to a ball and stick plot, and we want to start off by measuring some bond distances. If we move down to the tool strip at the bottom of the screen, we have a range of tools for selection and measurement. The bond distance tool is available here. And if we select that, we can use that to roll over bonds and measure their distances. Now this tool also allows you to click on an atom, which anchors the tool. And then you have a rollover mode and you can measure distances to different atoms from the anchored atom. Now we can actually rotate our model and preserve that measurement whilst we are rotating. If you want to make that measurement permanent, then we click again to anchor the measurement and we can click on create distance and that creates a bond distance measurement in the structure. You can get more information about the measured distance and its direction by showing the window log. We can right click, show log, and the bond distance and its vector, as well as its projection in the plane of the screen, are displayed in the window log. We're not limited to just measuring distances between atoms. Crystal Maker also lets you measure distances in the plane of the screen. If we move down to this little drop down icon and click that, you can see that there are additional tools available in this particular part of the tool strip. So let's choose the screen distance tool and I can click and drag to measure distances in the plane of the plot. To anchor the measurement, just click again and your measurement is displayed. If you shift click, you can preserve an existing measurement. What about angles? Crystal Maker provides a bond angle tool and this has a rollover mode. We just roll over an included angle and we can get that displayed very easily on the screen. You can also use this to anchor a measurement. And then you can roll over and measure the included angle between the two anchored atoms and a third atom in the structure. And again, you can rotate and scale the model during the course of your measurement. Click a third time to anchor the measurement and then information about that bond angle measurement is again displayed in the window log. And we have our bond angle preserved in the window log. We can measure angles in the plane of the screen with the screen angle tool. And we can measure torsion angles using the torsion angle tool. This requires four clicks to select the four atoms that we are interested in. but we have a rollover mode as well. And here we have the signed torsion angle between the four atoms that are being clicked. We can do other measurements in Crystal Maker. If you move the arrow tool over a bond, the bond distances is highlighted. If you select that bond by clicking on it with the arrow tool, then information about that bond is displayed in the 
the Lection Inspector on the right hand side of the screen. And here we have a summary of the selected bond, its length and its lattice vector. We can do a similar thing with atoms. You can roll over an atom and the atom and its bonds are highlighted with the bonds shown on the screen. If you select the atom by clicking on it with the arrow tool, then information on the selection is shown in the selection inspector. Here we have a summary of the atom's position in fractional and screen coordinates, uh, a listing of the uh, bond distances, the mean distance, and also a summary of the coordination polyhedron around that atom. Here we have a uh, AL06 octahedral group, and we have the polyhedral volume shown and details of the uh, polyhedron itself. Now we can also use the calculate menu to display information about the atom in the window log. There's the summary in the log which you can copy and paste into another program. We can also summarize bond information for that atom. Finally, for more detailed information, you can use the file menus export data command and you'll find commands available to export text files with information listing coordinates of the atoms, coordination groups and detailed tables of bond distances and angles for every site in the structure.